Thank you very much, Quick Shot. And joining us is, of course, Yellow Star from Fnatic after uh, a 2 and 0 week for you guys, which, um, well, for us, it was really nice to see that you guys, even after MSI, seem to have gotten even better. How does it feel for you just knowing that, especially UOL and now SK Gaming, the team's also in the top in the Springs, but you seem to have the upper hand? Um, it feels really great. I mean, the opening match against Unicorns of Love went really smooth. But this time, like against SK Gaming, we had a harder time. They played really well the early game, and then we had a ton of mistakes, but they managed to capitalize, and then, yeah, they had the upper end, and it was really hard to come back. Yeah, quite hard from the early game on. And of course, the Bard pick coming out there, quite a, well, impressive moves from uh, and rated early. Talk to me about how you, of course, as a support and probably knowing the champion quite well, play against that and the opportunity for counterplay, of course, as well. Um, yeah, Bard is really efficient in um, in lane swap, I think. He, he offers a lot of mobility and then they were catching around with Nidalee, uh, Bard with the tunnels and stuff. So it was really hard for Fabian to play mid. Uh, for And um, yeah, they managed to set up vision, take uh, early objectives, and it was really well played from them. I completely agree. There was one point, I think it was about nine minutes into the game, where uh, N-Rated clears the entire bottom jungle of Rainover's tunnels and wards. So I completely agree with what you were saying. And one thing I want to highlight in this game, it's a long time since we've seen Nidalee uh, in the European LCS. I think Sven Skeren's Nidalee early game did such a good job of keeping the pressure on. Uh, so full credit to Sven Skeren there. Rainover managed to find his feet towards the end, but it certainly came from a few crucial team fights. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, let's get one of those team fights up on the screen where you guys were very much getting back in the game and you had a fantastic uh, uh, Alistar uh, Headbutt Pulverize. We can start the clip and you can tell us your perspective and who you have to... Uh, so this is the third rake or fourth? It's going to be the fourth for okay. SK if so they get it. So we, ca third. we cannot let them, so we decide to fight and then we just go slowly. So here we're like just saying that we have to go for Drake, but they, they engage the fight. So we are waiting for Mega Gnar, but he gets one shot before. I see, I see a really good opportunity to just uh, knock up four men. And then I call for Azir, 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 and then he just dies by Rek'Sai. And then we just roll, uh, and yeah, I mean, we just kill everyone else. <laughs> you, you do. Very nice. <laughs> So many positives from this game for both teams, I think, actually, when you look at it. Uh, you, you guys on Fnatic, you're playing a bit of a different style with the Ash. A lot of primary engage coming from Reckless to set things up. Over on the side of SK, so different from what we saw in yesterday's games. Candy Panda, he finished 8-3-4 and four in today's game. Looks a lot better than yesterday's game. So a lot of maybe bright futures for both Fnatic and SK for some. Yeah, summer. were you, as you, of course, saw the game from SK yesterday, so were you cut off guard by the moves that they pulled out in this one, day and night difference? Um, not really. We expected them to be m more solid, and here Kalisa got a lot of kills early game, and we know that she's prone to be like really snowbally, and if she gets like two, three kills, then it's really hard to deal with her, especially if we have, if we don't have like a lot of stuns, mm -hmm. and we, so that's why we just have to farm up and just go for late team fights. Yeah, well, you guys <laughs> held your own, and of course, uh, we've heard a lot about, well, from Reckless himself, the, the different way that he looks at the game now and that he plays now that he's back with Fnatic, he kind of has found his own. How do you notice that as being, of course, his ex-partner and now his new dual lane partner? Um, he's uh, willing to cooperate way more with his teammates, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's just, he has to fill the spot that was empty, and then, uh, I mean, he, yeah, he's working really well with us so far. Yep, well, it definitely shows. Congratulations, 2-0 and for Fnatic, also in the summer split. More of the same for them. As for us, we need to take a break, but when we return, it's a clash of old versus new as elements take on the unicorns of love. Stay with us. It's a really smooth game. Yes. Nice and smooth, yeah? Nice, nice and smooth. smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. L like rain over with the ladies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stands him against the wall. This is a battle on two fronts. It rated slow. Candy Pan and Sven get knocked up in the air. While Rainover is pulling all of the attention. That Triple is a massive. Ultimate. The Tempered Fate catches everyone. SK have grouped up. We see N Rated knocking them up with the Fate's call. But Reckless is in a fairly safe position. Azir, Azir. I like it. Nice, nice. 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 Makai, Makai. Nice. Chase, 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 push chase. Push our, push our, push our. He's picked up a double. Reckless has got one more of his own as Candy Pan is trying to reply. The magical journey will not get anyone a magical life. Baron was secured by Fnatic. There's minions in the picture in picture. Everybody is dying for SK Gaming. Fnatic go 2-0 in week one.